So many people ask me when I'm going to make my next video. So, um, I'm making a video about what about people that are just one big fucking pothole. How about that? And when I'm talking about people being one big pothole, I mean is that people are always looking for someone to fill up this big hole in their life. Even though they know that the person who's filling up this hole is not making them happy. So what they do is they're kind of like the city of Montreal, right? They put the cheapest tar in this hole. And then what happens? By the time it hits next year, you got a hole again. And it's even bigger than what it was before, right? So what I've learned in my life is that if you compromise your own happiness to make other people happy, then you're never, you're not happy and you're never going to be happy. So if you're just settling not to be alone, and you're giving up your happiness not to be alone, then I could tell you that you're better off being alone. Because as the years go by, you begin to resent the person that is making you live your life the way that you don't want to live it. And we shouldn't ask people to change their lives just to make someone else happy. That's not the way life works. The way life works is you have to find someone that makes you happy because they have the same interests. They have the same way of life. You know, a lot of people say opposites attract. I really don't believe that. Because if you're too opposite, it just doesn't work. Because if you're not happy with what your boyfriend or your girlfriend is doing and you're just pretending to like it because you don't want to be alone, it doesn't work. It may work for a certain period of time. And for some people, hey, it works for years. But could you imagine living your whole life and watching years go by and you're just not happy? And I don't want to live my life like that, obviously. And I think nobody wants to live their life like that. But the fear of being alone is greater, I think, than, than any fear. It's like you feel like you have to be in a relationship just for the sake of not, I don't know, eating alone, sleeping alone, watching TV alone. You know, I say get a dog if that's the case. Because... If you don't find someone that's on your path, on the right path, like the same path that you are, I mean, okay, it's okay to have some differences, but when you're talking about lifetime, like life changes and, and differences, I mean, you have people that like to go out all the time, you have people that like to stay home. You know, if you have a partner that wants to go out all the time, and that's not what you like, you like to stay home and you like to watch a movie or you, I don't know you have different interests and you have someone that goes out all the time and you're saying, yeah, it's okay. You can, you're not happy. You're not. Uh, if you're settling with someone who wants to stay home all the time, but you want to go out, it's the same thing. You're going to be like, okay, um, I'm bored. I don't know. You know, it, it, it's the same issue. Just a small example. Like, uh, I don't know. You have a lot of people that love the winter. I hate the winter personally. So I'm not going to go fucking skiing or snowboarding to make you happy. It's not happening. I can't stand the cold. So I'm not going to pretend to go out when it's minus 40 with my snowshoes on to make you happy. They're just stupid examples. But all these little things add up when you're in a relationship. So you have to be with someone who likes the same thermostat as you someone who has the same interests as you, and someone that's, what's very important is someone that 
is going to see if you're just doing something to make them happy and he or she is going to say, hey, look, I know you're doing this just to make me happy and it's not what I want for you because I love you and I'd like to see you happy as well. But if you're with someone who never compromises or just pretends not to see that you're not happy, then you don't want this type of person in your life. You want someone who's going to see it and is going to say, hey, she's not happy or he's not happy, you know? So in the end, I know this is like far off from talking about Montreal potholes and uh, cigarette issues and, and whatever it is. But I, I think it's important for a lot of the people, especially that I know and, you know, people that I don't know, you know, to, to understand like you, you, there's hope <laughs> just if you're not happy, leave. You know, you're not going to eat Chinese food when you like Italian food, right? You're not going to drive, uh, I don't know, a Mercedes if you like an Audi, right? So why settle for things in a relationship that are not making you happy? It's the same thing. You don't like it. It's not making you happy. So you walk away. So I think that if people would look at everything that they like in their life and that they choose, like you know, their, their type of coffee or I don't know, their brand of cigarettes or the car that they drive. Why don't you apply the same rules in your relationship? I don't like it or I do like it or, you know, and I think everybody will be much happier. But unfortunately, the fear of being alone is like the worst psychological problem that most people have, but being alone isn't so bad sometimes, especially if you're not happy. And that's just, uh, something that I felt like saying, you know, I know it's not a, a drama video, but there will be some, uh, cause the winter is coming and I will be frustrated. So, um, take care. And I hope everybody just, you know, listens to my advice. You don't have to take my advice. You may not, uh, understand me or, or maybe not agree with me, you know, everybody's, uh, comments are welcomed, obviously, but that's just the way I see it, you know, don't, don't compromise your mental health, you know, because when you're unhappy, it compromises your mental health every day, and it, it just, it, it's something that you can't live with every day of your life. You know, you want to try to make the most out of your life and, and be happy every day because life is so short, you know. I mean, I have MS. I, I don't want to say, I don't want to look back on my life and say, well, uh, I did this just because I needed to make somebody happy or I did this just because, I don't know, I, I don't want to waste my time. So if everybody would view it the same way, the way I'm, the way... What I just want to say is just be with somebody that makes you happy, but not just makes you happy. You guys have to be on the same path in order to be happy. Don't just settle people because life is, is too short. And so many good people have gone and died. And I'm sure if they could start all over again, it would be completely different, you know? Don't, don't think, you know, you don't want to say one day, well, that's what happened or that's how it went. You want to be able to say, no, I did it. I loved it. And I was happy. And that's the most important thing. So peace, love, and uh, remember, food is my joy. <laughs>